hamlet in western Pennsylvania. As you can tell, it's cold outside. It's cold every It's day. cold outside every day, Cousin Kevin. What do you think we are? We're like, you know, Palm, West Palm Beach? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, like, shit. Uh, last time we were out here filming one of these videos, it was like seven degrees down in the valley, you know, and here we come, you know, down to the... A calendar month later, and it's colder, believe yeah. it or not. Here we uh, come today, down by the bay, where the watermelon's grow, and back to my home, I dare not roam, and if I do, my mother would say, and Wesley! she said, Wesley! Wesley Allen Jones! What the hell are you doing? Quit exploring those caves, hey. and quit spelunking now, okay? Hey, you are not Leon. Ponce de Leon, you are not an explorer. Get your ass back here now. <laughs> so. Gomer a pile. Yeah. <laughs> Go Menasai. Go more pile. Go Menasai. Nori Chikaoki, I apologize on last week's video. I forgot to acknowledge you as a member of the Milwaukee Brewers offense. So on behalf of uh, a born-again Mexican, but and, currently American. And on behalf of Special K. On behalf of Special K. Negro. Welcome to America. Now, you know, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> on the next video, you're going to have to pause. Go Menasai. Go more pile. <laughs> I'm going to have to apologize on that. All right. But the thing we're here for today is to talk about the Milwaukee Brewers pitching staff that... I don't know what that... That was 3D. <laughs> That's all the rage these days. Uh, no, but the thing is, like, pitching... Avatar. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not talking about, like... Okay, look, I'm not That's talking about 3D. big blue beasts, you know? If I want to see blue beasts... I'll watch fucking Grover and Cookie Monster getting it on, you know, it's like... <laughs> I mean, I don't need to see, I mean, although, the thing in Avatar, though, I was enamored by the side boob in that movie. You were hammered? <laughs> no, enamored. Oh, okay, yeah. But I probably also was hammered, too, because that's kind of like, you know, a general thing that happens, but like... Spray wine. Spray wine. Be inconspicuous. No, no, oh, uh, pitching. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln would use spray wine. We're not talking so, about pitching it in the rear either, or a tent. Yeah, no, 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 we're not talking about pitching a tent here. Same but, uh, back Mountain. Okay. Baggots. Pitching. Pitching wins. Regardless of what people tell you, pitching wins games. Bill Hall doesn't win games, right? Hit or miss. Yeah, you know, that's kind of 50-50, but hey. You ever had that, by the way, 50-50? Goes yeah. good with uh, Seagram's. Does it? Oh, no, whiskey more like, right? 50 and Seagram's? It's 50-50 the... The citrus drink? Yeah, it's like Sprite. And, Is that, yeah, it's like, it's like uh, a Sprite and Mountain Dew at sex. Yeah. It'd be 50-50. If a Sprite and Mountain Dew got it on, 50-50 would be their love child. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Alright, so where were we against good? Pitching, 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 pitching. Most important thing ever. More important than, like, you know, my parents staying together, obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, the thing is, the best part about this year, it's like everybody's just, like, crying about the lack, gonna be the lack of offense. But I think, like, those people need to just kind of, like, fuck that in the ass, turn it around, flip it over, do it again, and remember that that's not important anymore. I don't get, we don't need to score runs. And you want to know why? I'll give you five reasons why we don't need to score runs. Gallardo, Granky, um... Wolf, uh, Markham, and Narvison. That's five reasons right there why we don't need to worry about scoring runs this year. You want to know why? Just, I mean, take a page out of, you know, the, the media guide or the, um, the internet from last year and see what they did last year. Even if they do maybe just a step worse than that, we're still better off than, like, most National League teams out there. Uh... And the best part about it is all five of those fuckers are going to be back this year for, like, you know, another go-round. And, uh, and personally, see, I think, like, guys like Zach Granke, who, uh, you know, he's no longer, like, I think he's a little bit comfortable. You know, maybe he, like, bought a new bed or something like that. Just, I think his sleep number is, what, 86? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did the testing for it. Yeah, I mean, like, me and I, uh, Granky was middle spoon, I was big spoon, he was little spoon, with Granky in the middle, and we tried out his new mattress That's great. To, to find out his sleep number, and you know what, Granky's comfortable in Milwaukee now, thanks to us, I mean, I, I, I give us all the credit for well, that. Yeah, and then when you left, there was a, 
a moment that we shared that would make him even more comfortable. Let's just say that the good folks of Milwaukee have filled him up, him up in certain ways. Yeah, I mean, because Zach Greinke has been filled with uh, the love and the charity and the good nature of this oh, community. He's, he's been filled up like a Christmas stocking. <laughs> he's been filled out like an application here in Milwaukee. Exactly. And uh, I think he loves it here, and it's like he's he's having a good time. You know, he's 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 maybe like smiling a little bit more. He's joking a little bit more. You know, banging broads, ba banging his supermodel wife. You know, like I mean, good for him. And it's like if he if he loves it here. If he's comfortable, which I think he is, which I know he is because I, you know, I made sure of it. You know, because like, you know, I always kind of like, you know, they, they come first. People, other people come first. And then we first. come. That is one thing that I will always guarantee. I will always put people before me and make sure they come first. <laughs> um, so Zach Greinke is going to have a better year than last year. I actually, I will go so far to say as he will be in the conversation, if not a top three finalist, for Cy Young Award winner. Woo! Wesley! Wesley! So, um, I got no problems with that at all. Giovanni Gallardo, he's Mexican. That says it all. Exactly. We went to Qdoba with him before. And I got I got the chicken ranch show. I didn't really like it, though. You weren't a fan? No. I'm trying to, you know, slim down. Ranch show. Ranch Wilder. Owen Wilson was there. Yeah, you, you know what? Seen that movie? Uh, nope. You mean to pre? Love that movie. <laughs> Apparently, um, Giovanni Gallardo. I mean, like, shit. You don't have to worry about him. You know, uh, he he's shown wisdom beyond his years. You know, much like uh, you know Galileo when he looked up into the heavens. You know, he was always just kind of like, hey man, the Earth is round. And you know, and uh, Donatello was just like, wait a second, the Earth's flat, and he's like, and Galileo was like, actually, your wife's flat, and he's like, oh shit, you know. And then Raphael was like, these would make great forks for a steak. <laughs> and then Michelangelo was like, hey dude, try some steak sauce. A one, A one, cowabunga, you know. Um, and then Splinter said, do you know a good barber? Oh, Babar, like uh, the, the elephant books? No, I don't have any. What, children? No, elephant books. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Gallardo is gonna be, uh, you know, probably about the same as last year, you know, which is, fuck it, man, if I'm gonna take the same as last year and he's a 17, 16 game winner with like a, you know, a three and a half ERA, I'll take that every day. Oh, I'll take it in and out. I'll take it daily, and oh. sometimes nightly. <laughs> I'll take it at the, the daily burner. Yeah. Plug. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Back alley burners. Blogspot.com. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you don't get paid for this. Okay, so that's your number. That's your number one-two punch. We're talking about a left, right, maybe an uppercut every now and then. I'm gonna shoot you through the roof like you're fucking in Mortal Kombat. It's like Tahitian tree. That's your one-two punch. See, first you get the high C. What? I'm waiting. First you get the high C, just the classical fruit punch. But then you say, oh wait, Tahitian tree. Why not? Why not? Because well, like high seas, you know, it's juice, it's fruit, you know, it's cool and everything like that. But Tahitian treat, that's carbonated. And it's from a different it country. It packs that extra little ah oh, to get you there, you it's know? From, it's from Tahiti. It is from Tahiti, which, which is in I've, Central America. You know, you know, Tahiti is French for um, the coveted island. Is it? Yeah. It's gotta be. I mean, it's don't too, you. Too true to not believe. Don't it. you want Tahiti? To, I want Tahiti. <laughs> To heat all over her teas. To, to <laughs> heat her, hardly know her. <laughs> guacamole, guacamole is also known as the coveted snack food. Uh, Just a little side note, sidebar. Side boob. Side boob. Side boob. <laughs> Take the side boob break. <laughs> oh, side boob break. So we got that underway. Your number three is gonna look like. <laughs> Okay, if number one is pee and number two is poop, what's number three? No, oh, it looks like your large spleen just came out of <laughs> Okay, so your number three. Your number three is Randy Wolf. And he looks like a spleen. <laughs> In the right lighting, under the right conditions, during a day game on a Wednesday, Randy Wolf looks like a spleen. <laughs> so, <laughs> the best thing about it, 
the spleen actually does have a purpose in the body. What it does is it regulates your chemistry so that you are able to go out and interact with, um, you know, that perfect girl or that perfect guy. Since you guys hit out on the right note, you both like the same movies, like the same like music, and like your spleen is inside your body going, hey, what? I can make this work. What? That's why people without a spleen who've had their spleen removed die alone. WebMD. He did look it up before this broadcast. Yeah, I googled it. Yeah, yeah. But, um, so Randy Wolf, you know, is gonna give you... He's gonna give you a good time, that's for sure. Well, I mean, because he's, he's, some might say he's hungry, hungry like the wolf. I'm gonna say he's horny like the wolf. In London. Yeah, gonna get some of that British puss. <laughs> some what? <laughs> some British puss. That's why I'm just in there. <laughs> No, so, so Randy Wolf's gonna be uh, fine. I'm, I'm done with him. Just cause... <laughs> well, you know, I mean, what more can you say about a guy who's gonna give you and 200 like innings, spleen. 13, you know, wins, and like, you know, a three and a half ERA. No problem with that. Here's the big thing, though. Sean Markham. Sean Markham. What do you say about Sean Markham? He's Canadian, like Brian Adams and Lance He's actually Morrison. from, like, Missouri, but... He's Canadian. <laughs> He's Canadian. Atlanta's He's one of those, like, you know, uh... It's like me, it's like I was born in Milwaukee, raised in Wisconsin, but I'm Mexican. Sean Markham's Canadian. I was born in Milwaukee. By the same kind of reach around that Wisconsin. I was. And I am black. Yeah. If you can't tell. That is true. Sean Markham, uh, oh, so quite... Re a reach around? Yes, I said something about that. Man. Sean Markham, quite an enigma, if you will. Edward Enigma. Yeah, because I, I really don't know what to think about him. You know, it's like the first half of his season, he was like, you know, the savior. He really kind of held the team above water instead of, you know, pushing them underwater like my older brother used to do to me in the pool. Um, and he just kind of really kept kept us afloat, you know, until Granky got back, until, you know, everything kind of settled in. But like, during the, uh, like, September and during the playoffs, I mean, he was, he was worse than me with, like, diarrhea, you know, just like shitting all over the place, you know? It was crazy. Like, I was just like, what the hell, Sean Markham? What, uh, how many wins did he have last year? 13, maybe? So I've had a buddy that he would have less than, or more than 15. This next year? No, last year. Oh, last year? Yeah, you lost. I didn't Sorry. Pay. I didn't pay him. <clears throat> Sorry, buddy. Um, I'm thinking, though, he's going to have a bounce back here. 15? 15, uh, yeah. I can see 15. Uh, I'll, t I'll take 15. See, sh I like Sean Markham's win total at 15. Like how I like my girls. Age? <laughs> um, I like my girls aged like a fine wine for four years. <laughs> um, side boot break. Wesley! Wesley! Okay. So Sean Markham, I think he's gonna be better than like than uh, than you probably thought. You know, uh, you, you'll probably be apologizing to him. Just like I do after a night of sex with a woman, I'm just like, sorry, man, that doesn't usually... <laughs> man, I'm sorry, not man. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, miss, that doesn't usually happen. And sorry, um, this check will bounce also. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wesley! <laughs> okay, uh, so then we get to the number five. Uh, as oh. long as we're here in the sea and we're here in the bay with the, with the ahoy mateys and yeah! hoist the main sails, you know. Surrounded by the sea, I look out into the distance. In the port side, yahar. Deedle dee 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 Narva sun! <laughs> Best number five, Tartar! You know that plaque on your teeth that's called Tartar! <laughs> you know. You know what you do when you go to like a shop in Mexico and he says it'll be five pesos and you say it'll be three. You know what you do? You barter! <laughs> so, uh, he's, number, he's one of the best number fives that you'll ever see. Uh, and he's going to be amazing. I'm fine with him. You're number six. You long man out of the bullpen. We're talking long man out of the bullpen. Believe Marco you, Estrada. Got no problems with him either. I actually have nothing else to add about him. <laughs> let me <laughs> let me then run through run through the rest of the bullpen on your opening day roster. <laughs> Tim Dillard. 
<laughs> like the pickle. <laughs> like the pickle. Not a sweet, a Dillard. Um, Manny Para, Sir Para of Manny, actually gonna make an appearance this year. Unlike last year, right? Oh yeah, dude. Uh, so that's the next one. Jose Veras, who we uh, got from Pittsburgh when we traded them our, our used luggage. I mean, Casey McGee. Um, and uh, he's going to be a guy in there. So there's another guy. There's another guy. Uh, let's, let's, play, let's play a little uh, rhyming game right here. If I were to say bow, you were to say? Strong bow. If I were to say go, you were to say? Huh? If I were to say no, you would say? Yes. We're playing a rhyming game. If I was gonna say below, you would say? Tim Tebow? If I were to say, oh no. Oh yeah. Long story short, I would say, oh Bono. no. Bono. You would say, Bono. Oh no, babe, Bono. If I were to say, Bono, uh, where the streets have no name. Uh, Ooh, Gano? <laughs> Gonorrhea? No, if I were to say, <laughs> Bono, you would say Camlo. That's where I was getting ah, at. Ah, yeah, I would the, say Cam up. Well, yeah, I mean, there was, was low high Cam high. Well, in the I metric system, I graduated in the metric system, low is high. It's opposite. What, are we in Europe? Sometimes, only on the weekends, though. Hey, hey, woo! Side boot break, Wesley. <laughs> I'm gonna clean those windows, pal. <laughs> I'm on the jab. Hey guys, I'm on the jab. I got a couple of windows to clean for you, pal. So, Cameron Lowe will be another member of your bullpen. Uh, then, you know what we're gonna do? When the marker gets sitting there drying out, what do you do? Get you cap it. You cap it. No, you get a crayon. Well, yeah, sometimes. But I mean, like, I'm talking about on marker day. There's, there's crayon day, there's colored pencil day, there's finger paint day, best day ever. And pastel day. Pastel day is always a really good one. But we're on marker day. We're on marker day. Marker day, that marker's drawn up, what do you do? You cap it, you cap it off. You know, like, we're not talking like, bow, bow, nigga. We're talking, that's, that's, that's capping it. Um, and what? What? The, what? Bow, bow, nigga, that's what it is. Like, and we're not talking about Hollywood where you say, it. mark it. Marker. Yeah, marker. Uh, that, that's marker. Uh, okay, so. What's that? You cap it, you cap it. The cap end of our bullpen, two very important people. One was the 14th president of the United States. The other one was the CEO of Ameritech. Can you name them? Andrew Jackson and... That's, that's correct. Floyd Merriweather. That is also correct. Damn, how'd you know that? Because we have them on our team. Two days of college and this guy knows this kind of stuff. You know what? College is bullshit. Screw that. Tell your children right now. Be like, don't go to school. Because you're going to be in debt. Because you're going to be in debt forever. That's no fair. And then you're going to be in debt. You're going to be in debt, and then you're going to be in death. Yeah! What's up? Ah! Okay, to cap it off, you got Francisco the K-Rod Rodriguez. Ooh. Your thoughts? Special K. <laughs> He's another special K. Although quite not as special, not quite as... Hey! Not quite as special as this guy right here. Wesley! Um, <laughs> no, K-Rod. I mean, that's the thing. When people say, like, you know, we're not going to be as good this year as we are last year. Okay, last year we had, what, uh, half of July? What's the next month? <laughs> no, June's before. Half of July. Next month. August. September. September. December. And December of K-Rod. Now you have, like... April, May, June, July, fucking October, or something like that. You have this many months of K-Rod now this year. You instead of like this months many months. You have like, yeah, you have like eight months of K-Rod this year. Instead of the four months. Oops, that was actually right. Wow, I'm a genius. Yeah, <laughs> instead of like the four months of K-Rod you had last year. So you got K-Rod for the entire year. Which means like your bullpen, your bullpen is locked down in chains like me on a Friday night in Tijuana. <laughs> At a donkey show. Yeah, I mean... Behind, behind stage, Lubin the donkey. Wait, is... In a donkey show, does the donkey get banged? Or does the donkey bang? Or 
it does depends. Dude just blow the dome? It depends if you're on the south side of Tijuana or the north side of Tijuana. North side. North side. Not more oral based. North side, you bang the donkey. South side, the donkey bangs you. Jesus. <laughs> you know, where do I sign up? You know what's scary? I'll bang. I'll bang the donkey. You know what's scary when you go to a donkey show in Tijuana? And they're just like, hey, we're looking for some audience participation. And you're just like, yikes. I shouldn't have been on the south side. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, no hepatitis, no problem, because we'll take care yeah. of So K-Rod is going to uh, is gonna is gonna lock you, lock you down in the eighth inning. Uh, and, and there should be no problem there. But the best part, the best part, we're talking about the blah moment of the of the of the game. Of the come and go. <laughs> is when the X Man himself, the mustachioed mayhem, Ooh. the capitulating capitulator, Ooh. the kneel down before the throne, get on up and fucking bone. The sinner of all sinners. The prognosticator of prognosticators. John Axford will come in and he'll save the game like Superman saves Lois Lane. And Gotham. He's so good. He saved Gotham. He not only saves Metropolis. He saves Gotham. But he saves Gotham Batman, as well. Batman sprained his ankle. Side boob. Batman. Well, Batman sprained his ankle. So John Axford. Who would have seen that coming, right? His wife. <laughs> Especially if he does it in her face. <laughs> Immature. What? This is Brewers baseball. What if your mother sees this? My mother doesn't know about baseball. That's true. <laughs> Vamp. Play me off, Johnny. One of you was fucking dancing in our videos. Oh, come on, asshole. Hey, come on. Share the wealth, pal. Okay, so John Axford. Man, I'm a tough team. Yeah. It's hard to say he's gonna have another year like last year. So what did he go like 43 saves in a row or some shit like that? Yeah. After some insane. Two. Well, he missed two. Well, no, at the beginning he missed one. At the beginning he, the everyone, first opening. Everyone day, was all scared. Opening they, day. They're walking through the mansion. They're all scared. Ghosts were googling up on them. Opening day, he he screwed up. But then like he didn't blow another save. Just like I haven't blown another dude since me. <laughs> since the NLDS game five, he blew that save, and then remember Tony the Niger. Oh, plush, dude, we were there. Yeah, I was there. walked that one off, you know, and I was there. He blew that save that day, so it's like he went from essentially the first day of the season to one of the last days of the season without blowing a save. Uh, I showered in beer that day. Yeah, a lot of beer. So. No. Hard to expect that John Axford's gonna have another year like that, but I think it's gonna be pretty damn close. You know why not? Why? Hey, I'm a I'm a I'm a why not person, right? I'm chasing whimsies. You're a why? No, I'm. I'm the why not. You're not the why, no. I'm the why person. You're the why not person. So, hey, you wanna go fucking make a million dollars? Why not? Why not, man? Okay. You wanna skip work tomorrow? Why not? Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Play me up, Johnny. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta settle our, settle our check here, and uh, make sure to leave a big fat tip at the end. And then maybe we'll give you the base. So that was, that was the, uh, the overview of the pitching staff. Yes. For the 2011 season. Yes. Basically. Yes. Like this right here. That's gonna be the strong point of our team. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna relish in the fact that uh, with mustard. With mustard, that the fact that you know we don't have to worry about the pitching. Uh, the pitching is going to be able to win us some games on the front end, the back end of the bullpen. Uh, yeah. So, 2011 pitching staff, not worried at all. It's going to be insane. It's going to be amazing. Oh my goodness, really. Okay, with that. <laughs> That's our end. That's our, that's that, our one minute break. That is technically the end. Thank the you, end. everybody, and uh, have a wonderful day. That's our, that's our cue to shut the fuck up.